Having a winning record is something to celebrate, but what happens when it all gets taken away? I was in lunch. My coach called me and said, you've been denied, and I went to the locker room. And it just, it really just hurt me. Like, I love football, that's what I love to do. We worked so hard for all summer. All year we worked so hard to get where we at, and we just got it stripped away. Five and two, before going to that game. Undefeated in the region, and blank of eye, all that's gone. They wanted to come out there and try to play stupid, cheap shot and all that. We just gonna go out there and play football like we were doing all season. We still got a chance to go to the playoffs, so they gonna go out there and play their heart out. And if I'm playing or not, it don't matter. They gonna win. When the whistle blow between the lines, we just play fast and physical and hard and win. I would really love for that to happen. That'll be a scary sight. And that cook on your chest still means something. Got some eyes on it right now, but it still means something. But it's time for us to really decide how much we love this program. How much we like being out here. We are down, but we are not out. This is gonna be a game of who decides that they are not done. Drama brewing in Cook County as the clock thickens even more. Hours before their matchup with Fitzgerald, Cook County Superior Court Judge Clay Tomlinson has issued a temporary restraining order against the GHSA restoring Cook County's wins, allowing number three to play, and halting all fines until a hearing can be held. We got a region championship on the line in 8L tonight. Tonight's clash against the Purple Hurricanes isn't just a game. It's a celebration of resilience and redemption. However, there's no time to celebrate just yet because the defending state champions are tied with the Hornets with little time remaining in the fourth quarter. Oh, my God.